Hello YouTube and welcome to the Miniature Construction Company. Um, today's video is going to be concerned with fitting this, which is a, a lift kit, or, you know, suspension lift kit, to my B1 here. Uh, B1 is a fantastic little truck. Only thing it lacks is a bit of suspension flex. So hopefully, with this kit, uh, we're going to sort them out today. But before we begin, just a little uh, word of caution. Uh, I ordered this kit off a well-known uh, platform from China. Uh, the advert or listing stated that we were metal. When they turned up, they're in fact uh, 3D printed plastic parts. Not particularly good quality either. Um, I did complain and they did give me a portion of my money back, which is fair enough. I was happy with that. Uh, but it's well worth, um, sometimes if something seems too good to be true, the old adage is it probably is. These were a little bit cheaper than everybody else's, but not half as good with regards to quality. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on. Uh, now the first thing obviously I've done is remove the tyres, uh, unbolt the springs and the axle from the actual uh, body of the truck, uh, unscrew the steering servo horn from the arm, so uh, this assembly is completely off the truck. Um, I'm going to try and sneak the um, upgrade kit on without disconnecting the drive shafts, with a bit of luck it'll just go on. So next step is to remove these hangers and the kit ha comes with hangers which replace these. Okay, well I've managed to sneak the new brackets in without having to take all the bodywork off. i literally undo those two screws and furk all the other ones out and these sort of hook in. And it's worth noting, I thought I'd fit the spring and show you, it's worth noting that this, this little hinged portion of the kit should hinge backwards. So when you press on the spring, it's like that. If you, if you do it any other way, it doesn't work properly. Uh, so, I shall carry on. Okay, well that's the front uh, kit on. As you can see, it does increase the ride height. First impressions are, well, I don't think, there's more flex, but the suspension feels just, to me, just as firm as the old one, but as you can see, There's loads more flex, loads more flex, and the ride height's increased. So we'll go ahead and I'll repeat the operation on the rear. Oh, uh, it's worth noting um, when you're assembling them, these little brass bushes go in here. Well, okay, that's the rear done as well. As you can see, there's a considerable amount of lift there. Um, there's a massive amount of our axle articulation however these springs feel very stiff so whether or not you'll get any benefit from that added articulation is another matter now despite my initial reservations with the kit it's gone together uh, okay in a timely fashion even though I said at the start the quality didn't look very good. I wasn't expecting it to, to be honest, to go together half as well as it did. So whoever's plastic printed them, uh, 3D printed them, I should say, has done a reasonable job. Um, the only thing it changes, the only thing I've noticed, and the only other reservation I've got is that it's I've got a bit more of an extreme angle with on the drive shaft. So. Whether that will affect it any, I don't know. But what we really want to find out is, has it improved the truck any off-road? And without further ado, let's take it outside and try it. Thank you. 
then conclusion time high lift kit uh, does it lift it uh, yes it does uh, does it give you more flex uh, yes it does do you benefit from that flex on the trail as it were uh, not really no um, these springs are, f are far too stiff really I mean they don't really there's a little bit more there, but not, not, you don't get the full benefit from it, that's for sure. Um, has it improved it off-road? Uh, yes, it has, uh, but mainly due to the extra ground clearance uh, the kit affords the truck. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually now got more ground clearance um, than the C14, so... Um, or ground clearance to the bottom of the the sort of gearbox engine casing anyway so is it worth it um, yes it probably is just for the fact that it, I think it does give you a little bit of an edge off-road because it lifts the truck up um, and gives you a bit more ground clearance it, it is better when you're crawling across rocks etc I mean it would be even better if the springs were soft enough to take advantage of the extra articulation in the axle but they're not really they're, they are they are far too stiff never mind uh, there is an improvement so that's the main thing um, and this is only like a, a cheap a cheap kit I don't know what the more expensive ones are like they might be a bit better um, the only downside I can see is that well, I have noticed that the drive shaft angle is quite severe and I did while I was in the garden cl clambering over some rocks etc it did pop one of the uh, one of the little retaining spring clips off the front so the, uh, the drive shaft came out the only th other thing that would worry me was if you broke one of these springs because um, I haven't seen any spares for them uh, I know it's probably not likely because they're quite thick, but um, if you did break one, you'd have to buy a whole new kit. Anyway, if you found this video of some use and of interest, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you're feeling that way inclined, hit that subscribe button for more similar content. Thanks for watching, guys.